propagate a default route in OSPF version 2. Addressing table, three routers, three PCs, and web server. Okay. Three routers, three PCs, one PC on each local area network, and the server on the internet. And propagate a default route. Test connectivity to the web server. From PC1, PC2, and PC3, attempt to ping the web server IP address. 64.100.12. I go to PC1 and desktop, command prompt, ping to the web server 64.100.12. 64.101.2. .1 Destination host unreachable. Okay. PC2. Desktop command prompt ping 64112 and destination host unreachable. Okay, request timeout this destination host unreachable and from PC3 also I expect the same result. Ping 64.100.12. Destination host unreachable. Were any of the pings successful? No. What message did you receive and which device issued the message? Okay, for example, from PC1, click here. The message is uh, destination host unreachable. And the reply is from the 172.16.1.1. And 172.16.1.1 is the IP address of gigabit 00 on R1. On R1, the gigabit 00. So, so the reply is from R1. Okay. R1. And on PC2. Destination host unreachable in the IP address is 172.16.21. 172.16.21 is the gigabit 00 on R2. Okay, for PC2, the, rep the reply is from gigabit 00 on R2. And on PC3, 192.168.11, destination host unreachable. And 192.168.11 provides from Okay, from R3, okay, from R3 to PC3. Examine the routing tables on routers R1, R2, and R3. Okay, go to R1, command line interface, and show the routing table. Enter, enable, show IP route. Space. Okay, and you will see this message, gateway of last resort is not set. Okay, you can see the directly connected networks, three directly connected networks. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, four OSPF neighbors, one, two, three, four. Four OSPF neighbors, okay. One, two, three, and four, okay. But you need an additional uh, route to reach the web server. Additional route, okay. Because gateway of last resort is not set. Okay, go to R2. Command line interface, enter, enable, show IP route. Gateway of last resort is not set. R3. Command line interface. Enter, enable, show IP route. Okay, gateway of last resort is not set. What statement is present in the routing tables that indicates that the pings to the web server will fail? 
gateway of last resort is not set on R1, R2, and R3. Configure default root on R2. Configure R2 with a directly attached default root to the internet. Okay, directly attached means to use the local interface on R2. Okay, this local interface serial 010, serial 010, and the default root quad zero. So you go to R2 and go to global configuration mode, configure terminal and on global configuration mode. IP root, the default the static root, and serial zero one zero. Okay, serial zero one zero. Okay, to reach this uh, this this network, the internet. Okay. Enter. Okay, don't worry about this message. Okay, router will give a warning that this interface is not a point-to-point -point connection. This may impact performance. You can ignore this warning because it is a point-to-point -point connection. Okay, don't worry and propagate the root in OSPF. Configure OSPF to propagate the default root in OSPF routing updates. Okay, on R2, router OSPF1 to enter the process. Okay, go to R2. Okay, you are on global configuration mode. And access router OSPF1 process. Okay. OSPF1. Okay. This process exists and is configured on the on all routers. Okay. And Okay, default dash information space originate. Default dash information space originate. Enter. Okay, very good. And exit. Okay, and you configure this on R2. Okay, be careful. The configuration is on R2. And R2 will propagate this default route to R1 and R3 using the OSPF process. Okay, the using the OSPF protocol. And examine the routing tables on R1 and R3. Okay, first examine the R2 routing table. Okay, exit. Show IP route on privileged exit mode. And you will see this additional static route. You configure it. Okay, but it's uh, static. Okay, uh, static. And you see this symbol, and this symbol is a candidate to default default root. Okay, very good. And review on R1 the interface. Uh, um, the routing table show IP root enter space, and you will see this. Um, O is an OSPF root. Okay, so this uh, this uh, default root is learned using OSPF and E2 and also this symbol. Okay, this symbol candidate to default root and E2 is OSPF external type 2. Okay, very good. And go to R3. Verify the routing table, show IP root space, O, the symbol E2, okay, O is OSPF root, the symbol candidate to default root, and E2 OSPF external type 2. Very good. So this, uh, this root is learned using the OSPF protocol. Verify connectivity, verify PC1, PC2, and PC3 can ping the web server. Before uh, the ping from PC1 to the web server fails, destination host is reachable and repeat ping. ping to the web server. Success. Success. PC2. Okay. Before the ping fails, destination host is reachable. But Reping the command ping 64 100 12. Success. 
uh, from PC3 being failed and repeat the command and now success. Okay, compression 100%. Thank you very much.